let's now remind ourselves of the power triangle. Firstly, we have the real power, measured in watts. We then have the reactive power, measured in vars, which is a combination of the inductive reactive power and the capacitive reactive power. Where these two elements meet, we have the apparent power, measured in VA. Thigh is the angle between the real power and the apparent power. At the moment, we have a lagging power factor, as the inductive reactive power is greater than the capacitive reactive power. If we now increase the value of the capacitive reactive power, the power factor improves, and the magnitude of the apparent power reduces. If we cancel out the inductive reactive power altogether, the power factor goes to 1, and the apparent power has the same magnitude as the real power. In practice, it would be impossible to totally cancel out the inductive reactive power of the network, as the cost of the capacitors would be prohibitive. So what we normally try and do is improve the power factor to a certain level. Let's now show what level of capacitive reactive power we need to achieve this. Here's the power triangle for an existing electrical network, with a power factor of thi1. We now decide what power factor we want the network to improve to. We call this thi2, and then calculate what value of capacitive reactive power we need to supply to achieve this new power factor. Using basic trigonometry, the value of the capacitive reactive power, QC, equals the magnitude of the real power, multiplied by tan thi1 minus tan thi2, where thi1 is the power factor of the original network, and thi2 is the power factor of the improved network.